Today's question comes from Ian Hernandez, and he wants to know if his 11th gen Rocket Lake Intel CPU is ready for the dumpster. Actually, that's not totally fair. It's not really what he's asking, but it's an interesting question. Today's video was brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. 11th gen is not that old. However, the new stuff is legitimately a serious improvement. The first serious improvements we've received in a long time. And he asks a question that kind of has me on the fence. Follow along and see what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you would do in his situation. Hello, Tech. I'm currently running an i7-11700K, that's an 8-core, 16-thread, 11th gen chip, with an RTX 3080 12GB card and 64GB of RAM. Good choice. I run three monitors, a nice 1440p ultra-wide as my main, an old 1080p, and a 4K. That's an interesting collection of monitors and I multitask quite a bit while gaming. I'm stretching my eight core CPU quite a bit with these tasks, although I'm usually happy with my current single thread performance when not multitasking. I'm considering upgrading to a Ryzen 9 7950X or an i9 13900K. Would these be a wow upgrade for me now, or do you think I should wait for Arrow Lake, which will be 15th gen, or Zen 5 coming sometime next year. Typically, I play games such as The Division 2, Hearts of Iron 4, Warhammer 3, he Hell Let Loose, I had to read that twice. I'm also planning a GPU upgrade to a 5090 when it comes out, and I'm a little concerned that if I upgrade my CPU now, it will not be ready to properly drive that thing when it comes out in 2024, 2025, whenever it shows up. Boy, that is a lot to unpack. So this is bite-sized tech, but sit back and relax. We might be here for a minute. The i7-11700K is basically an improved i9-9900K. It's faster, but not really by much. There were some IPC improvements. It was supposed to be 10 nanometer, but it got backported to 14 nanometer because Intel couldn't get it sorted. We tested them. We were singularly unimpressed with the Rocket Lake chips. They're, they're okay but they're nothing special. By the way, it's very easy to get this confused because they're so close. Rocket Lake and Raptor Lake are not remotely the same thing. Raptor Lake is 13th gen and is legit a step up. Raptor Lake is 11th gen and a very, very mild refresh of 10th and 9th and 8th gen, which were all basically the same cores. Now he has an RTX 3080 12 gig, a great card. There's no reason to replace that today unless you're doing ultra everything and you want a 4090 and you don't care about the money, but a 3080 is great. And he's got 64 gigs of RAM. He could take that to a new machine, but we'll get to that. The big thing is he runs three monitors. He has a 1440p ultra wide, so a 3440 by 1440, a 5 million pixel main panel. He has a 2 million pixel 1080p monitor and an 8 million pixel 4K monitor. And as he says, he multitasks quite heavily while gaming. Yeah, that's not really a great thing for an 8-core CPU. I mean, 8-cores is fine for just gaming. But for all that multitasking, the i9-13900K with 24 cores and 32 threads, or the Ryzen 9 7950X with 16 all-P cores and 32 threads would absolutely be a demonstrably better experience. The question is... Is it worth the money today or should you wait just one year? Raptor Lake refresh is coming out later this year. It's going to be a mild, mild refresh of 13th gen. It's going to be called 14th gen. Don't get excited about it. It's nothing special. The real refresh will be 15th gen next year in 2024, along with Zen 5 coming in 2024 from AMD, both of which should be 20 to 25% faster than the current chips. You could wait. There's nothing wrong with your current machine, but your use case screams better CPU and there's nothing you can put in your motherboard that's gonna make any difference. You need to replace the entire thing. Now you could go to an i9-13900K and keep your DDR4. 
Raptor Lake will support DDR4, but DDR5 is not that expensive anymore. And if you're going to spend $550 on a 13900K, $300 on a quality Z790 board, don't buy a $150 board, buy a decent one. $300 on a decent board. Another $200 to buy 64 gigs of DDR5 is not the end of the world. You are budgeting a 5090 after all, and you've got some expensive monitors. But you could if you really wanted to. You do have to go to DDR5 for Zen 4. Now, the benefit to going to the 7950X is you could then upgrade to the, to the Zen 5 and possibly Zen 6. And in your case... I'm almost kind of inclined to say that the Ryzen 9 7950X might be a better choice. Or you could save a couple hundred bucks and go with a Ryzen 9 7900X. Now, in your use case, I would normally recommend the top-end chip. Had you bought it when it launched, you should have. Today, we are a year, almost a year into Zen 4. Maybe save the $200 cost difference. It's not quite two. It's close to 200 Get a Ryzen 9 7, get the 12-core chip and live with it for a year. It will absolutely positively be a big improvement over your current CPU. But you'll have AM5. When Zen 5 comes out, go ahead and get the 16-core version of that. You'll take a little bit of a hit on the value of your 7900X, but probably not as much of a hit as you would take if you'd bought the 7950X. And that gives you an opportunity to have another nice boost upgrade. You have a, a mild upgrade today, but you get properly positioned for the next several years of upgrades. This is what I personally did at home, although since I did it close to launch, I went ahead and went to the 7950X. But when Zen 5 comes out, I'll go to that. When Zen 6 comes out, assuming it's on AM5, I'll go to that as well. But the 13900K is pretty amazing. You could also go to a 13600K, but nah, that wouldn't make any sense because there's no upgrade path. Okay, forget I said that. I am doing these live, by the way. These are not scripted. For those of you who watch many of these videos and go, oh, he's just reading a script. All I have here on the screen is the question. And I do these in one take. I don't sit here and go and edit them because it would take forever. And so I'm giving you my consciousness of thought as I read the question and as I give you an answer. Those games that you list aren't tremendously demanding. The Division 2 will use all the CPU you can throw at it. I've seen it actually use all 16 cores of a 16 core CPU but it doesn't need them. Depending upon the frame rate you're running at, it absolutely does not need 16 cores. The reason I'm torn is because if you wait a year, you could go with Arrow Lake, get an entirely new platform on the new LGA 25. I can't remember what the chip is. It's 20, 2,500 pins is going to be the new chip. And then you'll be set for a nice future there. It's an interesting point when you mention the RTX 5090. It might be another 18 months before we see that. I've seen rumors of delays that the next generation of cards from NVIDIA might be delayed by a year and go into 2025. And so if you upgrade in 2024, there may not be a 50 series in 2024. We will have to see. Now, what we might get is a 4090 Ti and a 4090 Super and a refresh and a few other things, but that's kind of what we're hearing. There is nothing worse than a computer that you have to wait for. I, if you have the money, if you can afford it, I am an advocate of having a computer that when you ask it to jump, it says, how high? When you snap, it responds, yes, sir. Not everybody can afford that. I understand that. It, a lot of people watching this video may very well be saying, dude, tech, a, a, an eight core, 16 thread rocket lake chip. That's awesome. I'd love to upgrade to that. Why, why doesn't he send that to me? That's great. This is a challenge of making any type of advice video because while he is looking at upgrading from that chip, half of you would love to upgrade to it. Well, this is what eBay is for. Perhaps he puts it on eBay. It'll be a reasonable price and you guys will be able to upgrade to it. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're coming from a four core, eight thread chip from 2017, for example, he has an awesome CPU for you, but you also are probably not on an RTX 3080 and you don't have three very nice monitors. So we all have a different use case. I really don't have anything else to add other than I genuinely, usually I know exactly what I want to say. I have a very specific piece of advice and I say, this is what you should do. I am somewhat tempted to say, wait a year, but I'm also somewhat tempted to say, go ahead and make the upgrade. All I'll say is this, if it does not financially hurt, if this is not a serious amount of money for you, it doesn't affect your other financial goals, go ahead and upgrade.
eWin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used eWin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with eWin to bring you this special discount and recommend eWin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. I personally replaced an i9-9900K at home with my Ryzen 9 7950X. I honestly could have used my 9900K for another year. It was annoying, but it was not preventing me from doing things. It was pegged at 100% usage at times. I'm a multitasker, I have multiple monitors, I'm not a typical user, but I could have. It was a nice to have upgrade, not a required upgrade. Did I notice it? Yes. Did it blow me out of the water? No. But it is nicer, I can do more with it, it doesn't stutter. I find it removed some of the waiting, but it's a luxury upgrade, not a required upgrade. So if you want a luxury experience, do it or wait a year. Honestly, both answers are okay.